I'm glad to be here via this video. I wished I could be there in person. But I wanted to say just a few words about Larry Lessig's uh, concept of creative commons. Uh, I'm attracted to it for the following reasons. First, Larry makes it clear that he is respectful of and uh, supports copyright, copyrighted material that artists create, and he believes it ought to be protected. But he also says, and I agree, that there are those people who have copyrighted material who may want to give up part of their copyright, or all of it, to put on the Creative Commons and let other people view it or hear it or whatever. And I have no problem with that. I think that's part of the, the free society in this country, and that if you want other people to have your material that you have created free of charge, with your permission, wonderful. And uh, I find that to be a, a, a salutary kind of thing. But I think it's also important, as Larry staunchly believes, that those people who have copyrighted material, whether it be a, a book or a television program or home video or, or music or movie or computer software, and who want it protected so that they can uh, make sure that it can move through the various venues where that material is brought to the public and given to consumers at fair and reasonable prices. So I think what Larry has come up with is a marvelous balance between the protection of copyright material and the dissemination of material that copyright owners want made available to others uh, without any charge at all. So I thank you, Larry, for bringing this concept to life. And I think uh, it's something that is useful and worthy which is why I support this, what I call the Lessig Compact, the Creative Commons. So thank you for letting me say a few words. And I hope, Larry, the fact that I'm supporting you in this doesn't ruin your reputation. Thank you very much.